Oh, that's cancel funny. Johnny Depp. <laughs> cancel cancel Johnny Jack Depp. Sparrow. Exactly. Yeah! <laughs> it's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes with Tony and Johanna. Talking about tapes. Hello, Johanna. Hi, Tony. Welcome back to another Talking About Tapes. We are talking about this tape. Pirates of the Caribbean and the Curse of the Black Pearl. Yes. Do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? It's Caribbean. Are both acceptable? I think so, but it's Caribbean. Yeah. From our good friend, producer, Jerry Bruckheimer. That's really, when's the last Talking About Tapes I was on? Like actual tapes, not DVDs. I Titanic. Think it's Titanic. Titanic. Okay. And The Mummy. So you were in a couple recently. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, well, I mean, that was a little while ago, you know? <laughs> like a few weeks. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about this adventure, rousing fun, and excitement <clears throat> on a grand scale, according to David Sheehan of CBS. Do you remember seeing the commercials for this when it was coming out? Yeah. Like, how, like, they really promoted the hell out of it? Yeah, so I think people forget this was part of a, not a Pirates trilogy, this is part of a trilogy of films. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Haunted Mansion, mm -hmm. and The Country Bears. Yeah. Only one of them is remembered fondly, and only one of them spurred a franchise. <laughs> well, there, there aren't five Country Bears movies, which is sad because I love Christopher Walken. I could have enjoyed more of him. I wish they actually did, like, well, I mean, they kind of bombed after this one because they just progressively got worse, like yeah. the Pirates movies. And, oh, yeah. But I really wish that they did do more. As you can see, I'm dressed for Disney because, yeah, um, I wish they did do more on the theme parks because there's a few things in Disney parks that are like connected. So like, say you're like, for example, the Haunted Mansion movie. Yeah. Okay. The chairs in the dining room, like the Eddie Murphy one, yeah. those chairs are now used for the Johnny Depp um, animatronics at the very end of the Pirates movie uh, ride. Oh. So like, if you actually like look that, like it's that chair. Oh, I did not. So I did not pay attention. But there's like other things too. Like, um, can I like promote other YouTubers? <laughs> yeah, sure. It, why not? It has nothing to do with like, like movies. Why not? Just promote them all. Who are you promoting? Basically, if you go look at offhand Disneyland's videos, he oh, has stuff. Oh, that I've never actually He's watched. He's so nice. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Keep, um, but basically, he he has things where it, all the rides are technically like connected. Even like Jungle Cruise, which uh, that okay. movie's coming out soon too. So yeah, it looks terrible. But, uh, yeah. Have they made any more Disney theme park movies? No, but they're supposed to be making another Haunted Mansion one. I remember Guillermo del Toro was linked to it for a bit, but I don't know if that ever happened. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, so this movie, people forget this was kind of like predicted to be a flop. Yeah. Because pirate movies hadn't been, except for Muppets, Treasure Island. Pirate <laughs> movies weren't really that big, and especially the 90s, and then Cutthroat Island was a huge fucking flop. The Gina Davis, uh, Brenny Harlan vehicle. You know where co-star in that movie was? Uh-uh. Matthew Modine from Full Metal Jacket. Oh. You know what other movie he was in? What, Tony? The Dark Knight Rises. Anyway. It so always bad, comes back. <laughs> check out our Wrong Turn 2021 review. He's in that movie. My good friend, my best friend from Dark Knight Rises is in it. Uh, yeah, Cutthroat Island was a huge flop. I think it cost $96 million, only made 10 Uh I actually want to rewatch the movie because I want to know if it's like, is it really bad or was it just hyped up and then it was kind of, is it, maybe it's just kind of okay. Now there's movies that everyone say were like a huge flop, and then you watch them years later, and you're like, oh, it's okay. It's Scott just... Pilgrim? Yeah. Oh, I love that at first, but yeah. No, I'm just talking about like critics and stuff being stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, this ride, this ride, this movie. <laughs> I mean, the ride's great ride, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, came out, and it was gigantic. I remember me and all my friends went to it. I think I had like a big banner, like a Pirates of the Caribbean banner. You have that little skull thing there. It used to have swords, but I don't know what happened to them. But at least it still looks nice. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, Johnny Depp made Johnny Depp a huge megastar. Like he was big before this. Yeah, like he was already in stuff, but this like really like. This made him like blockbuster level name. Like he became huge. Yeah. Uh, nominated, right? For best supporting actor for this, I think. I think so. Because he definitely wasn't the main. No, 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 no. That goes to Orlando Bloom. Uh, yeah, and I remember really, really, really liking this movie. I still really like it. <laughs> they greenlit a bunch of sequels. It was supposed to be the next Star Wars. Did not pan out that way, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's get into this film. Just this film, which looking back should probably have only been one film. 
It should have, and I get it. Yes. But uh, also directed by Gore Verbinski. Mm -hmm. Do you know what other movie he did? What? Oh God. Oh, I love Mouse Hunt. Mouse Hunt is super underrated. Mouse Hunt's amazing. Mouse Hunt's really, really Can good. Can we do Mouse Hunt? Uh, I don't know if you've seen lately. Uh, children's films have been bombing on this okay. channel. Would you really want to call that a child, like a children's film? Because it gets a little adulty, like a lot adulty. I don't know. But anyway, Gore Verbinski did Mouse Hunt. Uh, he did this. I forget what other movies he did, but he was a pretty good director. Uh, he did some like horror movie a few years back that I never got to catch. I wanted to see mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah, so let, let's get into this. Uh, opens up right away with the logo. Mm -hmm. like this Pirates of the Caribbean. I remember because it had a subtitle. The other ones didn't. There wasn't Country Bears and the Christopher Walken's a bad guy. And there wasn't uh, Haunted Mansion and the Legend of Eddie Murphy. Like This is the only one that had a subtitle. Yeah. And I remember when Johnny Depp went on uh, Jay Leno, he's like, is there going to be in a sequel? And he's like, I don't know, maybe. So they were already planning ahead for this one. They probably felt the most confident in this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we get to see um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Swan? Swan, yep. yes. And her dad, the bad guy from Tomorrow Never Dies. My favorite James Bond movie. That movie is more relevant now than it was when it came out. Do you remember that movie? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the bad guy's like whole thing was? He made fake news to control the world. He was literally manipulating world events so he could report on it first in his newspaper. And I'm like, holy shit. Holy shit. I'm like, wait, this movie is was way ahead of its time. Anyway, I love him. Uh, yeah, you he, would love fake news. <laughs> See, I don't want to answer you because I knew you were going to use it against me. <laughs> uh, but no, he's great in this. Um, she's singing about pirates. She's singing the song yo from ho, the ride. Yo yeah. Ho, pirates and then like uh, me. what's his name? I, I think I wrote Migs, but his name is Gibbs. Yeah. Migs is the guy in Silence of the Lambs that throws semen on Clarice Starlin. Why did I get those two confused? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, it's check out our Silence of the Lambs Mr. episode. Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs. Uh, yeah, and he's like, hey, lady, shut up. <laughs> Don't sing that song there. And then we meet uh, Norrington, Captain Norrington, mm -hmm. Admiral Norrington. I, I think he was... Commodore Nor... Oh, he was going to be Commodore. Yeah, he was going to be Commodore. So, so guess, he basically yeah. goes up to this young child and is like, I'm going to be your husband one day. Not really. Not yet. <laughs> uh, and yeah. also, uh, what was it? Uh, Gibbs also mentioned about, like, you know, singing about pirates is, like, super, like... Uh, what are... Uh, superstitious superstitious thank yes. you I couldn't think of the word that and then like uh, also bringing a woman aboard even a miniature one <laughs> well I agree every time I bring you into the store the one time it sank uh, the one time a monster attacked and you abandoned me thanks uh, there's always Wait, gnats a monster? Show yeah the Pacific Rim episode <gasps> oh yeah I built a nice kaiju and I said we had to pilot it together and you abandoned me and I died I got better didn't you leave me for something <laughs> Oh, Titanic, I left you guys to sink. Yeah, so I just thought fun. ahead. But every time you were in the store, something bad goes ha happens, okay? So I don't want to hear it. We're fine now. Gibbs was right, and so was Migs. Anyway. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Uh, but yes, she sees that a uh, ship has been exploded. Explodinated. Well, she sees something. Is it a water. ghost ship? How many nautical movies have we, we done? <laughs> literally, I was just thinking about that today, like, I thought you were going to wear the hat again. I know. I should have. Uh, ghost ship. Like, I thought you were going to make this blue. Ghost ship, Titanic. King Kong was mostly on a boat at that one point. This. <laughs> this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't it's, do the blue lights. It's, it's uh, been a lot. Yeah, so she sees the ship has been blown up, and they find a little boy. And they think it was like, what, what did they think happened? Like, I know uh, Gibbs thinks it's pirates, but they <sighs> think they were like hauling like gunpowder. And, yeah, like, I think, it. yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's like, I'm only, uh, we're all thinking it. I'm saying that it was pirates. And, uh, she meets a little boy named Will Turner, baby Orlando Bloom. Will Turner. I know. That's, <laughs> <laughs> and she finds the medallion and she steals it because she's a thief. And therefore she be, she should be put in jail. She stole it to protect him because they already saw no, the way she, they were treated. She is a thief. And Tony. this comes up later and she should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Just like Amber Heard. Anyway, justice for Johnny. I'm on the I'm on the Justice for Johnny bandwagon. I actually really don't care, but I feel like my audience is Justice for Johnny, and I I live to pander. So Justice for Johnny. <sighs> okay. So anyway, back to people who need to be punished. Um, Elizabeth steals his his medallion, mm. and she sees the black pearl, and it's actually a really cool reveal. 
It's really creepy. Because <laughs> the mist surrounds her. Yeah, it. and it like goes into the mist. And she's the only one who sees it for some reason. Um, Probably because everybody else is paying attention to the ship on fire. And Yeah. And then we wake up. She wakes up. And it's older Elizabeth Swan, played by Kira Knightley. One of her first big movies. She was in Phantom Menace, uncredited. She was yeah, the she fake queen. Me. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the second movie she was in that was distributed by Disney. What's the first one? Go ahead, Tony. Do your thing. The movie The Hole, which was uh, distributed by Dimension Pictures when it was owned by Disney, where uh, she was naked underage. So Disney just released a movie with a naked underage girl, and no one ever called him out on it. And they had to have known because they put her in this movie. She was 17 in this. When they, when they were filming. And then I know. And she, she was, was younger in the other yeah. one. <laughs> and then she was 18 when it came out. It was very weird. I don't know. Just like looking at like. I didn't realize how young she was. She has like, to, like, oh, she's only like yeah. years older than us. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, freaking what was it? And then she had to kiss Orlando Bloom and he's like in his 20s and stuff. And I'm just kind of like, ooh. Oh my God. Did you ever watch Extras? The Ricky Gervais show? No. Oh my God. Extras is a great show. Because it's Ricky Gervais and his friend. They're always extras on big movies. And there's always a celebrity guest in the episode. Like an actor they have to deal with. But they always play a ridiculous version of their character. And Orlando Bloom played himself, but he played it as if he was really jealous of Johnny Depp. And he would keep <laughs> spreading obvious lies about Johnny Depp. And I tease you and I go, if you want to kiss somebody, why don't you kiss Johnny Depp? She goes, don't make me fucking sick. I'm going to vomit if you carry on like that. Why do you keep talking about Johnny Depp? I don't keep talking about him. I never talk about him. He's boring. He's a prat. Well, don't forget, she also, when she woke up, she walked over to her little dresser. And she put the medallion put the on. medallion on for some reason. I guess because she was just dreaming about it. Probably. But. Uh, yeah, but her dad comes in and it's like, hey, try on this super tight dress with a corset. Yeah. Uh, and I like that. She, he was like, it's the latest style. In, or no, no, not French. It was uh, London. He's like, it's the latest style in London. She's like, yeah, they must have learned not to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> I knew girls that did corset training. Yeah, no. Because they're like, yeah, it makes me look so thin. And then, like, like some people like get their ribs taken out so they could like have that shape. Yeah. Pretty sure that's a thing. But it just look it looks like weird. I'm like, I feel like you're just yeah. causing I don't know if shoving your organs together is worth the look. I don't know. Uh, I mean, even wearing those like heavy dresses in that time in the middle of that heat, like I would I would sooner die. I'd be like, fuck this. I'm like, I'm gonna be a pirate so I can wear pants. <laughs> like <laughs> Like who is the who's the famous lady pirate? Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn is the second queen of King Henry the Eighth. So it's not her? No! Who was the famous? Bonnie something? Oh, I don't. She was in Black Sails. Put up a picture. Jessica, look up famous lady pirate and put the picture right it's there. It's be like all these other pictures. You're not going to know who it, it is. It was a character in Black Sails at Assassin's Creed 4 and they were a real person. Put them oh, right there. It's not Anne Boleyn, apparently. Oh, my God. <laughs> she was pirate. No, she was literally. The also, Jessica, could you Photoshop Anne Boleyn as a pirate? <laughs> With or without her head? <laughs> With or without the head. You know, do you know who yeah, she yeah, is? Yeah, I know, okay. I know, I know. Okay. Queen Anne's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so yes, uh, she's put in the tight dress and her dad's like, I got to marry you off to Commodore Norrington at his like promotion. She's like, oh, God, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah. And then Will's there. He breaks their uh, property. So he should be <laughs> immediately the- thrown in the brig. Uh, He's like looking at it and just snaps off and he puts it <laughs> like he puts it in like the umbrella. Holder. He's like, uh. Uh, and he is a blacksmith. He makes swords. Yep. He's very proud of it. Uh, and he's like, that's great. I'm going to give it to the guy I want my daughter to marry. Not you, you loser. And then he starts crying. It was made for him. I know. I know. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Like, <laughs> but I like how uh, they're, him and Elizabeth are clearly into each other. Like, at the point, she's like, I had a dream about you. And her yeah, dad, she, her she dad's comes like, running down. She's like, Will. <laughs> and her dad's like, hey, could you, could you, in front of the help, could you not? Like, this is a lowly blacksmith it's chill walk back yeah, i hardly what is it i hardly think that's proper or whatever he said and i like that will's being the one that's proper he's like i'm not gonna call you elizabeth you're miss Wine. he's like well at least he's got mad and then she gets mad <laughs> <laughs> then we get the reveal dun, dun, of, dun, of an dun, innocent dun, man dun, dun. johnny Depp as captain jack sparrow oh we were requested by someone upstairs because it'll get claimed we have to hum the theme uh Dun, 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 uh, dun, dun, dun. You're not humming it with me? I already did the the beginning part of when we he got, was we coming in. We got to do it in, in unison. Dun, 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 No, you got to start from the beginning. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm too, too fake. <sighs> I always, whenever I hum this theme, it always, it always turns into Gladiator. 
Wait, is it the same person? I don't know. I thought this was like a James Horner. Or no, Hans Zimmer. Klaus Badlet. Oh. Hans Zimmer did Gladiator, and that's why they're similar. What are you looking for? I thought you were pointing at the other movies. I did. Uh, Gladiator's up are there. You sure it is. Yeah, Gladiator's up there. That's Hans Zimmer. That one I knew for sure was Hans Zimmer. Wasting, wasting time. Why does this look like it was like printed out? <laughs> we'll talk about the little Nikki box another day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, a lot of times when I hum like the Pirates of the Caribbean, it turns into the fight theme from Gladiator. The dun, 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 dun. They're very, Doesn't very happen similar. to me. Huh? Doesn't happen to me. Anyway, it's a great reveal. And I love, oh, let me know if this is in the ride where he sees the pirates being hung and it says pirates, ye be warned. Uh, no. That's not in the no. ride? Um, I haven't been on the ride in a very long time. Last time I went on the ride, because I didn't go the last time we were in Disney. Last time I went on that ride, like Johnny Depp still wasn't on it. And it was like still like really cool. Now it's lame. As much as I like this movie, I very much hate that Johnny Depp is now in the room it's not even like he has like a cameo it's like you get the beginning part or whatever where you know you, you're first introduced to the ride and then you get to the big like show scenes where like all the pirate animatronics are and then he's literally like everywhere and i'm like i get it like it made you a lot of money but oh my god it's like when they put ellen in that one thing in epcot that was weird yeah. at least we can all agree they made maelstrom a lot better I, it's so funny. I don't really give a shit about Disney, but Disney people get real mad about this stuff. I and, actually almost toss this at your head. And like when you bring up Maelstrom being turned into a frozen ride, they they act like you insulted a dead relative. <laughs> so anyway, he uh, shows up, and I love the whole reveal where you think he's on a big ship, and then it's just a tiny boat <laughs> and sinking. Love, yeah, and I love he just walks onto the pier, which is great. Do you know who the man is in charge of like the uh, the pier with the ship that he bribes? No. Oh, a very brilliant actor. One of my favorite characters from one of my favorite movies. He is the cyborg, Dr. Mittenhan in Leprechaun 4 in space. The one who turns into a giant spider and turns into Dr. Mitten's spider. As soon as I saw him, I was like, because I remember when I did a commentary for Leprechaun 4, I like, I was like, wait a minute, Dr. Mittenhan's in Pirates of the Caribbean? And like, I knew who it was right away. <laughs> Leprechaun 4 is like one of the best Leprechauns. Oh, I'm covering that next year. Are you? Because, yeah, we did one, two, and three. Yes! Oh. Leprechaun 4, I'm so excited! Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, I wrote that there. It's Dr. Mittenhand from Leprechaun 4. I like how he uh, literally says to him, like, oh, you have to pay to dock here. And it's like, my my boat sunk. <laughs> like, oh, what? <laughs> but I like that he bribes him and then steals his money. Uh, and then he deals with some wacky red coats. Uh, who are guarding the Interceptor. And there's a whole like the whole discussion where there's another ship called the Dauntless and it's big. And they're like, yeah, sure, that ship is like big and it's got all the muscle, but the Interceptor is like really, really fast. Yeah. Uh, and they're arguing, then they mention the Black Pearl. And he's like, I know a ship that's even faster, the Black Pearl. While they're arguing, Johnny Depp just goes on to the goddamn <laughs> ship. Uh, and I like that um, during the ceremony, she just can't breathe in her dress. It's foreshadowing too, because like she keeps going like, like this with the fans. <laughs> she just like falls off a goddamn cliff while the guy's trying to propose to her. Yeah, like talking about like yeah, like you might not be happy about it, or whatever. But like I think I can make you happy and blah blah. Did like trying fall, to be a super nice. Did you nice. fall off a cliff when Ian proposed to you? Yeah. Was <laughs> he like Johan? I got something to tell you, and you just fall off Space Mountain. Like oh no! Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what happened into the Forbidden Ball Pit. <laughs> and if you don't know what the Forbidden Ball Pit is. Insert it here. I'll send you the picture. <laughs> we forgot to mention Johnny Depp when he says what he wants to do with the ship. He said, I'm going to take it. Uh, I'm going to commandeer the ship and I'm going to rape, pillage and plunder. And now I retract my earlier statement. Cancel Johnny Depp. I'm now on board with the cancel Johnny Depp train. How about you? I mean, I hate them all. Isn't that from the original song? The rape, pillage, and plunder? I mean, probably. They've been, like, censoring a lot of the stuff, so. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, a common pirate phrase. I mean. But it was, just, it was like, wow, in 2003, you could still do that. It now would never be a thing. I don't even know how you could do a pirates movie now. Because, like, these movies are all like, oh, they're all well-meaning good guys. And, like, that's not what it was. Did you watch Black Sails? I watched the first season. Oh, my God. I know you keep telling me to watch Black it. Black Sails but... is so good because you think, like, edgy prequel to Treasure Island is stupid. 
but like fuck that it's awesome like black sales is so good because it's like does it hold up yeah okay I didn't know if it was like other like the only issue with it because it only ran for like three four seasons it, still the only issue is the bookkeeper in season one was one of my favorite characters and then he got brain cancer in real life so they oh. recast him but the second guy who played him sucked to the point like when he died I was happy because I'm like wow that character really sucked <sighs> And I didn't know at the time. Like they, he looks nothing like him. So they put him in there. Like you're supposed to know who he is. I'm like who the fuck's that guy? And I'm like, oh, oh, wait, what? Anyway, really, really good show. Uh, Ray Stevenson is Blackbeard in it. I love Ray Stevenson. Ray Stevenson is a good fucking Blackbeard in that. Uh, yeah. So when she falls in the water, it alerts the ocean that the medallion's there. It doesn't alert the ocean. It gives a signal in the ocean to a, alert the Black Pearl. It sends a signal like Superman did in Justice League. Did the you Snyder notice? Cut. Uh, I can't remember if it was like clouds or maybe just like mist starts coming in, or whatever. But basically, it looks like a hand when it does the um, sky shot after the no, I didn't, water. I didn't it's like a hand. hand, and it looks like it's like pointing towards the island. Oh, that I didn't know. Yeah, it's cool. I gotta look at that again. Uh, but Jack Sparrow saves her. And he realizes that it's way too tight. <laughs> He's yeah. like, "How did you know that?" He's like, "You've never been to Singapore." Uh, yeah, and I love this whole bit where uh, Norrington tries to arrest him. And he's like, oh, you're a pirate. Yeah, the East India trading thing. And he's like, uh, you're the worst pirate I've ever heard of. Like, no, my favorite thing is like, you know, he, he's like thanking him, goes and shakes his hand, pulls back and thinks he's a pirate thing, and then pulls up his sleeve more and there's the sparrow tattoo. So it's like, oh, Jack Sparrow. And it's Apparently just like, it's actually a swallow. Someone told me that. Probably, it's but it's still funny to me. Like, why are you branding yourself with like all your information? Like, I know the, the P obviously yeah. wasn't your fault, but like with the tattoo though, <laughs> like, come on. But I like that everyone's at least heard of him. <laughs> that, that's a, it's kind of like me. When people are like, oh, Tony's show sucks. He su it's so stupid. I'm like, ah, but you do know about it, don't you? <laughs> as long as you know about it, I'm a little bit happy inside. <laughs> you are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. I like how he holds Elizabeth hostage. And he's like, well, I saved your life. Now you got to save mine. But it's like a lot meaner. And this is the great like running gag. It's like, this is the day you almost caught Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I remember when I was watching this as a kid and the part with the chains because he like flips yeah. it over and then grabs the other side and then goes across the wire thing. Yeah. I was always confused and I'm like, wait, like he has him clamped like oh, this. I thought, thought he went yeah. like this. But then I was like, like watching like, I don't know, maybe like a few <laughs> years ago, I finally saw like the flip that he does to get it. And yeah. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. But I like that he escapes into the town and he gets into a fight with Will. He hurts the donkey. Oh, that's Cancel funny. Johnny Depp. <laughs> Cancel, Cancel Johnny Jack Sparrow. Exactly. Yeah! <laughs> so Jack gets into a fight with Will at the blacksmith and uh, this scene is great and this scene kind of sets the tone for the rest of the movies where like what they do they make really great use of the scenery and the setting like it's not just they're in a sword fight they're going to use every part of the blacksmith they're going to use like the thing with like the fumes yeah. they're going to hang on the stuff like they these movies have a lot of free flowing action that are built around the setting. And it's not boring. It doesn't go on too long. No. It, the, all the action scenes are perfectly timed. And like you said, you get a lot of action. Like swinging, moving. There's a lot of... It, it's not boring. Yeah. Uh, they really up the ante in the second one with the wheel fight. Which I loved. I loved the wheel fight. <laughs> oh my god. I just remembered. Remember me and you were bonding a lot over the Hermit Crab Head Man? I loved Hermit Crab Head Man. He's the best Conch character. Conchell guy. Yeah, Conchell that guy. guy. That's it. Did he survive? <laughs> Did he die in the third no, one? No, I think he lives. I hope he lived. He's my favorite character. I remember bonding over that because I remember being like, oh, that's a cool design. And then you're like, <laughs> I love really him. Cool. He's my favorite. <laughs> I got I got yelled at by a girlfriend in the theater for that movie. Why? Because I was so excited to see Conch Shell Guy. And then he showed up and I was like, oh my God, it's Conch Shell Guy. And I hit her arm and she was falling asleep and she was mad. Falling asleep? Up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. She was not excited that I woke her up to point out Conch. Also, during this uh, fight scene... I thought it was funny because I ended up, hurt. I don't know if it was like an interview or something like that. I forget what it was. But basically, um, Jack Sparrow is supposed to be the worst sword fighter. Yeah. But he was like on par with Will here. Apparently, Will's supposed to be the best. And then Norrington and Barbosa are supposed to be equal. Hmm. Where did you read that? What? It was like a while ago. It was some type of commentary. I forget what it was, but mm. that's the thing. Look it up. <laughs> but To be fair, Will hadn't actually been in a fight. He was practicing by himself, True, probably. But, well, and then also, like, Jack does cheat. 
Oh yeah, I love that. He's, <laughs> He's like, like, "You cheated, like, pirate!" pirate. <laughs> uh, but I love that the drunk guy knocks him out. <laughs> like, just takes credit for it. He's like, just Dude, doing my like, civic duty, sir. <laughs> uh, so they throw him in the brig or whatever it's called, and the pirates try. It's trying not to- the brig. Yeah, the brig is where you got me thrown into. Oh yeah, when we played. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. We played the first Which time we played. Which has a new Pirates of the Caribbean update. We played Sea of Thieves the first time, and I didn't know what was going on. And I I'm got... trying to explain to him, too. So, like, it's not even like a, oh, I, I don't know the buttons. I'm trying to figure this out myself. No, I'm telling him what to do, and he's not listening to me, per usual. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Put him in the brig till he gets sober. Put him in the brig till he Put gets Put him in the bed. <laughs> With the captain's daughter. <laughs> yeah. That's also part of the song. That is part of the song. Anyway. You can play that in the game. Yeah. <laughs> so, I like, because uh, this is from the ride where the, the pirates dog. are trying to get the dog. Yeah, he has keys. a bone. He's like, come here, doggy. Oops. <laughs> and they're like, he's just like, that dog is never going to give you the keys. <laughs> so this part, like, worried me. Elizabeth is like being put to bed and her housemaid just gets like a thing full of coals and just shoves it under the bed. I could understand that if, like, they were still in London because the weather's, like, all, like, foggy and cold or whatever. Mm. Why are you doing this on an island? Well, because she was, it's cold at night. And, like, and all like, those blankets? Like, girl, please. I'm just worried about, like, putting hot coals near that. I feel like all that thing. People in the past were stupid. People in the past are so stupid. I also stupid. think it's, like, under, like, a lot of blankets and also, like, it's way away from her feet. But, like... Me, I'm an idiot. Like I would like kick out the blankets or whatever and somehow like <laughs> kick the thing and then all of a sudden my feet are like third degree burns. <sighs> so yeah, that scared me. I was like, oh no, she's gonna get burnt. She's just gonna die. <laughs> yeah, then the um the maid is talking to her about like, oh yeah, like the you and Commodore uh, Norrington, uh, you know, it's a good match. And then um she was like, oh yeah, like it uh, oh, fine match. Yeah. And she's like, Yeah, it is a fine match. And then she's like, Oh, well, that will turn her. Wink. And <laughs> then she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, what? <laughs> no, I'm not your in, place. I'm not into him. What? That's too bold. <laughs> uh, then the pirates show up. The Black Pearl shows up, uh, almost kills. Super silent. Yeah. What's that? Cannon fire! Cannon fire! Two of the pirates, the two wacky pirates. One is Gareth from the British office, which is the Dwight equivalent of... Yeah, I've Gat- never watched The Office, and I don't plan to. The the British Office is so I, good. I well, I don't want to watch either. Like, oh. I, I don't care about either. People keep telling me watch it, and it makes it worse for what? You're a white woman in your thirties, and you're not watching The Office? No, I rewatched One Tree Hill. <laughs> I guess you're not devoid of cliches. No, The British Office is fun. I didn't watch the new movies they based off it, um, but the original series is just two seasons and a Christmas special. Like, good enough for me. Uh, yeah, so Gareth is the skinny one with the messed up eye. And the other one uh, was, what was his name? Uh, Mike Moffat from Seinfeld. He was the one who called Jerry Seinfeld a phony. I swear to God, every single time I'm in one of these with you, you have to bring up either The Dark Knight Rises or Seinfeld. Like, there's all... I need to go back and, like, download each video and just find the clips and just put it up. He, he called Jerry Seinfeld a phony. Yeah, and then he's the one Jerry you're a phony Tony he's the one Jerry like broke his thumbs and then he accidentally got caught in Jerry's uh, trunk and Jerry was pretending like making a joke about killing oh Elaine was pretending to be someone else and then he's like oh just uh, kill your alter ego and then they got Mike Moffat's of the thing and he thinks Jerry actually killed a woman so at the funeral for the fake person that doesn't exist he's like Jerry Seinfeld's a murderer and then Jerry goes not only that but I broke his thumb. remember when we made the Seinfeld high school, high school year. years yeah I had red hair for that too you did anyway uh, they're the wacky pirates do they ever interact with the wacky redcoats at the very end of this movie but in the sequels do they get into wacky shenanigans I don't think so. I know that they both are like still in them. Yeah. But I don't think they do anything together, which that's a missed opportunity. That could have been like, oh, make a mini series. Come on. <laughs> I thought those were like the best characters. Yeah. And uh, one of the other pirates, this made me sad. It's Trevor Goddard, the guy who played Kano in the first Mortal Kombat. Oh my God. Yeah. This was the, one the, of the last. The big guy, right? Yeah. He's one of the bigger guys. He didn't have too many. Did lines. he slap Kira Knightley? Is that who I'm thinking about? I don't know. I forget if he slapped her, but I'll show a picture of him. Uh, This is one of the last movies he did. Because I think if I remember right, he had a bad divorce and he got sad and just did a little too much heroin. 
Uh, but I was like, oh man, Trevor Goddard, like that guy was so cool. And also, I think it's a Cockney accent in Mortal Kombat, but everyone thought it was Australian. And he never, he just did that accent for the rest of his life. That wasn't, because oh. he was kind of British, but he played it more Australian. And then he just kept doing it, even in this movie, because it worked out so well. Uh, so yeah, Trevor Goddard, one of his last films. But yeah, this is like a fun scene where they're just blowing up the town. And then uh, they they corner, what you call it, Elizabeth after raining. They shoot like her one servant in the head. Yeah, <laughs> they, like they a- start coming up and, uh, you know, she mm-hmm. runs to tell them not to open the door, even though I don't know why that would stop them. They would have definitely broke that down, but whatever yeah. effect. Um, so they come in and was it she runs into her maid and her maid's like, oh, like. They're, they're coming to get yeah, you. Yeah, they're coming to get the you because you're the daughter, governor's daughter. Which is not why they're there to which, get her, but yeah. Well, I mean, they wanted to just pillage and plunder, but. Yeah. Well, no, they knew. They knew she had the thing. Well, yeah, they can smell the gold or whatever, but yeah. like, again. But I like. They were uh, stealing. You saw the one dude, the, the, again, with the scene, or whatever, like later on, the one dude's walking oh, out. Right. Like, like they're there <laughs> taking stuff too. It's not just that. Uh, yeah, so I like that sh- the coal thing comes back where she, like, they block it and then she just spills the coals on <laughs> them. And then what does he call her when she's hiding? Pop it. Pop it? Hello, pop it. What the fuck is that? Darling type. It's a, it, an English thing. It's like a term of endearment for girls. No, oh, I don't care about the Imperial Queen's uh, language. I need to take this off of my head because you're giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she uh, invokes parlay. Mm-hmm. And they're like, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> like, So she has to explain what it is. They're like, oh, shit. Because uh, it's the pirate code. They can't break the pirate yep. code. Uh, they take her back. And then in the prison cells, I like the other pirates see that Jack Sparrow's there. That was when we get our first glimpse of the curse, yep. where the pirate puts his hand in the moonlight. And it's yeah, because like he starts hand. talking about, like, there's a special hell for people who uh, mutiny. And then he goes and he shoves his hand through, yeah, through that, the bars. Yeah, that's from, uh, I think it's from Dante's Inferno. The deepest level of hell is reserved for traitors. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah, and you I know nothing of hell. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, that's very interesting. <laughs> I also like when Will kills the one guy and then he realizes he came back and then they yeah. just knock him on the head. <laughs> he's like out. Uh, but Captain Barbosa is awesome. I love Jeffrey Rush. Barbosa is literally the best. Thing. Like, uh, I'm talking about the second one for a second. Mm. I was so sad at the end of this movie. <laughs> it was so, man just wanted his apple, man. Like, it's all he wanted. That second movie, even though I was like, okay, this is a little, a little, a little much. Oh, yeah. When he came down those steps <laughs> and he had that apple, I was screaming in that movie theater. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's like you with the conch head, man. Yeah, I really loved him in as weak as part four was, but he's all in on the British and he's wearing the makeup. <laughs> he's like totally a sellout. I love that part. Are we not Queen's men? <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, but I love Jeffrey Rush. This is a few years after I saw him in House on Haunted Hill, which we're going to yeah. cover eventually when he plays Price in that. She realizes they're after the necklace, the medallion. And I'm like, oh, we don't want it. And then she threatens to drop it and they all freak out. But it's like, what are they scared of? That literally happens twice. It's that part. And then there's um, later on. Oh, yeah. It's later on with the oars because all the oars were taken. Yeah. And they're like, oh, no, like, what are we going to do? And I'm just like, look, I get that they wanted to hold that for a reveal, but they should should have never shown that, like, they needed stuff yeah. to do the thing. Like, because it's just like, just jump down. Yeah. Like, I, I understand what they were trying like, to do. Like, it's going to suck. It's going to take a while to find it. Yeah. But just jump down and get it. It's like uh, our favorite Indiana Jones. Temple of Doom, where he goes to throw the stones. And Muller yeah. like, yeah, go ahead, throw it. We'll find it eventually. <laughs> they will be found. You will not. Or whatever he says yeah. to him. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, ba- basically she's like, spare the town. And he's like, okay. And then they keep her as prisoner. And I like that she's like, but the pirate code, he's like, you have to be a pirate for that to apply. He's like, and thirdly, the code is more what you'd call guidelines than actual rules. Welcome aboard the Black Pearl, Miss Turner. And then the next day, Will is uh, simping for Elizabeth pretty hard. And he's a, he's a total beta. And he's not like, he's not like keeping his cool. He's like, we need to save Elizabeth. He's like shoving axes in the map. And it's like, dude, you're going to get arrested. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he decides to team up with Jack Sparrow because he knows Jack knew something about the Black Pearl. Yep. Uh, and he breaks him out of jail. Like he figures out how to break the prison he, door off. Either he said that he like made the bars or something like that. And he's like, yeah, you just apply the right leverage and pop. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jack's like, you can't do that. And <laughs> yeah. And I love this whole sequence where like they... They fake planning to steal the Dauntless 
But everyone's like, what a bunch of idiots. Like, you can't, you need more than two people to pilot that. But it's all in an effort to bring the Interceptor yeah. over so they can really see. <laughs> and also they were loading up the Interceptor with like all the materials and stuff like that too. So like. Which I also really, yeah, it's really clever. The, the thing I like about the scene, whatever, it's how, you know, in the beginning, how they were like, oh, like you're the worst pirate I've ever heard of. Mm -hmm. This actually shows that Jack's really smart. Yeah. Like he knows what he's doing. He just yeah. plays dumb. But that, he's also just weird with the. I don't know if that thing would work with the. The, the boat underneath the water with a little air bubble. I think, okay, so I think Mythbus Mythbusters, I think it is, or something did it, but like it wouldn't work with how far down they were. No. But like it could work if they were up a little higher. Yeah. So, but whatever, Disney Matt, there's freaking skeletons walking around and a curse and a dude who's walking around going Z like this. Z with zero stars. Zero stars. I do like they make fun of his acting later on. Does that explain all Yeah, Orlando this? Bloom actually uh, improvised that. Uh, because if you guys don't know, uh, Johnny Depp, he based this off of uh, Keith Richards, mm -hmm. which is why Keith Richards plays yes. his dad later on in the series. So, yeah, it's a whole great scene where they just steal the Interceptor. And eventually the guy's like, that's the best pirate I've ever heard of. So it would seem. Yes. And then we get more uh, revelation here because Will was like, you knew who my dad was. I, I, you, you could tell when I told you my name. He finds out his dad was a pirate bootstraps bill and they're not now he's, he's sad he's not too thrilled to find out that his dad was a pirate but uh what are you gonna do then we go to tortuga and holy shit the girl pouring beer into that guy's mouth in the one scene her tits are fucking huge <laughs> i was like i was so distracted i'm like what i'm like i i never noticed it before <laughs> yeah, there are, if you actually look at that scene and all the girls in the background like all the boobies are out. It's a, it's a great scene. The, my favorite scene. My favorite scene. I rewinded it like five it's, Yeah, is it going to be like in Titanic? That is going to be rewind. <laughs> and Joanna, who hasn't been slapped by multiple girls on the same day? Like uh, Johnny Depp and got hit. And I'm like, yeah, we've all been there, right? No. No. <laughs> I love the whole, he's like, I'm not sure I deserve that. He's like, I, I might have deserved that. <laughs> uh, and then apparently they knew who Mr... Like Jack knew who Mr. Gibbs was. Mr. Gibbs was a pirate. It makes sense. Why was he so or, weird in the beginning on that ship? Maybe he just became a uh, became a pirate afterwards because maybe he couldn't find a job or whatever. Because that technically what is what happens with uh, Norrington and in, in, uh, was it the third one or second one, whatever one it was. I forget. Remember Norrington? Like they find him literally how Gibbs was, which that's also in the ride. Uh, oh, the, the guy pigs. sleeping on the pigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. I think that's also from um, the ride. But I, I think it's like the Norrington thing. Maybe he like just couldn't find a job or whatever, so he just kind of. Well, no, he would have had to have been the pirate beforehand. I don't because he knew Jack when he was the captain. Uh, whatever. What? Uh, it's kind of a confusing. Yeah, the him in that beginning. I wonder yeah. if that was like added in. I don't know. It feels weird. Uh, but yeah, he he's basically like we're gonna build a team and we're gonna go after the gold. Well, then we cut back to Elizabeth. Having dinner with Barbosa. That scene always makes me so hungry. Yeah. Like that bread yeah. looks But like awesome. Jeffrey Rush in this scene is awesome. Because you see like how sad he is when she's like eating and he's just like, I wish, I wish I could have that. And I like she's like, is this poison? And he's like, Yeah, because it because he's like, oh, try this. Try the wine. Yeah. Try this. And an apple. And I'm just like, oh man, he wants his apple so bad. <laughs> but she's like, is this poison? He's yeah, like, no, like, oh, I, it's poison. He's like, no, we, uh, we, he explains it was cursed Aztec gold from Cortez. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was a curse on it. Uh, they got the gold, they were spending it. And the more they spent, the more like inhuman they became. And I like that he's like, we can eat, but we'll never be satisfied. We'll drink, but we'll always be thirsty. And all the pleasurable company in the world isn't enough. Uh, so basically, they feel nothing. Yeah. And like it's like driving them all crazy, and they're basically decaying and whatnot. I like that she tries to kill him, and he's I like, think, "What were you gonna do after killing me?" I think they didn't. I think they were already like the undead looking. Well, I I, I have a problem with the end. Uh, I was just gonna say I, I'm pretty sure it was more like not the, them decaying. It's more the more they spent, the less they felt. Yeah, well, no, I how I thought, but there is something that contradicts it at the end. I thought like that is what they actually look like after ten years of decaying. Okay, but you're right. There's something later on that doesn't. But I, I, I think I can point out. Like, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But I'm gonna point it out too. I, I'll point it out it. too. But yeah. Um. So yeah, this scene's great where she goes out onto the ship and they're all skeletons. And uh, I found the uh, the behind the scenes footage of all the people in like the blue screen, like like in yeah. the blue motion capture suits. I like even the monkey got cursed. Mm -hmm. Why do you yeah, get he cursed? has a little medallion. He's spending the gold too. 
He needed to I love that things. that becomes like his thing though in these sequels. Like he choose because there's a post credit sequence. He chooses to be cursed so he can be an undead monkey. Like he doesn't care about the curse. Um, yeah. So this scene is awesome, and uh, the CGI holds up. Yeah, there's some things that are pretty like, Ugh, but like, yeah, it was more of like I guess the they, time they were smart to put it at night because yeah. CGI looks better in the nighttime. Yeah. So they they were very smart. Mummy was a little confident, but even then there was like a dark setting. Uh, yeah, these look a little bit better than the mummy, and this is only a few years later, so it shows like yeah. how good it got. Uh, yeah, they look so freaking creepy, yeah. and I, and again, this is another use of like using the entire scenery. So it's not just she's running around and screaming; she's like swinging on things. She's being she's thrown caught, up in yeah, the air. She's yeah. getting caught by the one dude who's like trying to like fix the mass part. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love when she like. Is this this part where she throws the wheel and it like knocks the yeah. guy's head off? Yeah. Now, my favorite part is the very end of like the reveal of this is yeah. when um, Barbosa drinks the wine and yes. it runs down. But I, that was the scene that was in all the trailers. Like, it's you so best, good though. You best start believing in ghost stories. You're in one. And yeah, I love the drink. Love, love, and then after that, like, cause she runs in and she hides and then he starts like laughing and everybody else starts laughing. And then he's like, what are you doing? Get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Barbosa literally is the best character. I don't care. He is so, <laughs> so good. So the next day, Jack has his crew. Uh, <laughs> just the worst people he could find. Uh, and Zoe Saldana. Does she ever come? She's not. Just, I didn't see five. Did she come back for five? She never came back for any of them. Why? You'll like this. Uh, okay. Apparently, there was a lot of behind the scenes political stuff going on that she was not about. So she decided not to come back. And apparently this movie, because of that, almost made her quit acting forever. So 2003, political stuff. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Oh. Political stuff. She was probably like, she probably thought we needed to be in Iraq to find the weapons of mass destruction. And maybe one of the other actors disagreed with her. And uh, as a Bush supporter, she was like, I will not stand for this. And she left. Is that what happened? She hasn't elaborated. No, that's what I think it is. Is she going to come back in the all-female reboot with Margot that Robbie? That would be really funny. But why is it all-female? What I like about these movies is that it's a very, like, diverse, multicultural cast of men and women. So, Do you have a problem with all-female pirates? Do you have a problem with pirate legend and Bowie? <laughs> I really want to know. Who that goddamn pirate was? I think it was Google Bob. Google it. I'm not Google Googling it. Right. I'm not Googling it right now. God damn it. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. I think she was. The Elizabeth. Pirate. Now you're on her daughter. <laughs> oh, I like that. The pirate talks for the dead guy. The mute guy. The parrot. Yeah. The parrot. It's a pirate. The pirate. The parrot's kind of a pirate. It's a pirate parrot. I wish he had a iPad. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that it talks for him. He's like, we taught the parrot to talk for him, and then it's like, when do we say out? When do we say? He's like, we think that means yes. <laughs> like they have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he screwed over Zoe Saldana. He did deserve the slap he got from her, and he's like, I'll get you a new ship. And then Will's yeah, like, it was the boat that he was riding in yeah, the very beginning. But I like Will's like, you can have that ship. He's like, that ship. <laughs> like he's like really pissed. He's like, oh fine. Uh, but yeah, they all get together and set out on their adventure. Dead uh, men tell no. Is that from the ride? Yeah, one hundred percent. Does the parrot say it? Uh, no. Okay. No. Is that what the fifth movie was called? Dead men tell no tales. Whatever one it is, but yeah, yeah, one of the movies. The second one's Dead Man's Chest, and I think yes. the fifth one again. I World's the End. Fifth one. Don't really care about the other <laughs> one. Sorry, not sorry. Look. Four was a, four was at least a lot better than three. I'll give it that. Yeah, but I, I think the thing I like the most about these movies, whatever, is like it wasn't focused on Jack. Jack was just just like cool dude just in the background just yeah. doing his thing, being awesome. When it started focusing on him and making him the main character, that's when it started going. That that was the problem with like two and three. But I will say in the fourth one, when they finally just embraced him as the main character, it was a little bit more focused. Yeah. Other than like, oh, these are the main characters, but we really want to focus on this guy. It's like, just make that guy the main character. It got a little bit better. But yeah, three, it's like, it's hard to be invested in everything, but they keep cutting back to Jack and making it all about him. Like, all right. I thought, like I said, I like that this was like an ensemble, a group thing. Yeah. And then it was just like the Jack Sparrow show. 
And then there were a million Jack Sparrows in part three. And I'm like, that's overkill. That's way too much. I think he made out with a goat. It was weird. The third one was weird. <laughs> it's a lot going on in that movie. <laughs> the girl from 28 Days Later turned into a giant lady and then exploded into crabs. But it, I will never be disappointed in a movie. As much as you were. As much as I was. Yeah. <laughs> It was a big letdown. I'm thinking, oh, she's going to be like some cool like tentacle monster or something. Because she's literally the goddess of the sea. And no, no, she turns into crabs. Turns she's into a whirlpool. Freaking giant woman. We find out Jack, uh, they talk about the mutiny that happens. Like Jack uh, shared some information with Barbosa. Barbosa mutinied him and banished him on an island. And no one knows how he got off the island. And the, the legend goes that he got sea turtles with rope. No, it wasn't rope. Human hair my back <laughs> but jack has one shot in his gun because it was meant to be like if you want to take your own life you can if you give up but he survives so he's saving that shot for barbosa 10 years 10 years he's been holding that probably gonna jam uh he might want to get another bullet like <laughs> symbolically it could be like the same bullet it doesn't have to physically be the same bullet that was my favorite thing in black sails uh when they go to attack a ship and the guy's like, uh, am I going to use this right? When he's talking about the pistol, he's like, half the time they don't even go off, so good luck. Because, like, old guns just sucked. They're like, yeah, pull the trigger. I hope it ignites the gunpowder. Probably won't, though. Here's a sword. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's saving his, uh, his one shot. And then we go to the island where the gold is. And I like that they've been saving all the stuff they've plundered over the years mm -hmm. for when the curse is lifted and they can actually use it. Uh, and then they're they're playing with lady clothes. Yeah, they thought it was like actual stuff, but it was just women's clothing. Yeah, LOL, guys playing with lady clothes. Those are jokes that used to happen in movies all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Barbosa does a great speech. He's really good with speeches. Uh, and I like that he goes to spill his blood, but he only cuts her hand. She's like, is that it? And he's like, yeah, that's all. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't work. No, it, it's... Is that it? And then he's like, waste not. And then opens her hand more to make her bleed more. Oh. Well, she thought she was getting killed. That's Well, I mean, yeah, but. Yes, but doesn't work. Nope. Because she's not. Oh, we forgot to mention. She said her name was Elizabeth Turner. Yes. That's why she ended up getting taken away, technically. Yeah. She thought like, oh, maybe if I lie. And then she was like, oh, I'll use the dude that I'm real hardcore crushing on's name. Yeah, that's a little weird. Uh, yeah, so he... Rose. <laughs> Rose Dawson. Rose Dawson. Oh, my God. Ray Skywalker. Rose Dawson. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth Turner. Hey, to be fair, Elizabeth does become Elizabeth Turner later. <laughs> oh, my God. How long has this trend been going? Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I love that they have to test to see if the curse is lifted. So he shoots Mike Mock. Yeah, because they're like, yeah, we don't feel any different. And then he shoots the one dude. He's like, oh, I'm okay. Hey, you shot me. He's like, what the fuck, man? It's so good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Will saves her. I think he knocks out Jack, right? Doesn't he knock out Jack? Yeah, so Jack and Will were watching just from the background. And Jack was pretty much like, yo, wait here. Mm hmm like, don't do anything stupid. Like, we can do this. And then, of course, Will's like, fuck this, because... Yeah. Yeah. And then he goes, he knocks out Jack, and then he goes um, up behind uh, where all the pirates are, because they're, like, they're all standing in the front here, and there's the mound. So he comes up this way, and I guess there's, like, water deep enough for him to, like, swim under, because... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you but, stop um, hitting Johnny Depp? No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. But uh, then Barbosa is like, you know... You know, are you the child of <laughs> she's like, Bill Turner? She's like, nah. nah. <laughs> and then slaps her. He, he bitch slaps her like so hard and that he, she, just she to be, falls. Just to be clear, that is your favorite character? So he slaps her and she falls off and she tumbles down a thing. And then Jack, or Jack, friggin' um, Will comes up or whatever. And he's like, be quiet. Like, and yeah, he saves she her. She still takes the medallion with her. Yes, to screw them over. Uh, but I like when Jack comes to and they like all find him. And he's like, oh, no. And he's like, he's trying to leave. And he, he can't remember Parlay. And the one guy helps him uh. out. And he's like, Parlay? And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> So he uh, gives info to Barbosa. He's like, I can tell you how to get Bootstrap's real kid because they need his blood. So they need to return the gold and also replay in blood. Uh, and we find out why they don't have Bootstraps. Um, which is funny 
Because this this movie, they keep saying, like, he looks just like his father. Then his father's Stellan Skarsgård in the sequel. I'm like, he doesn't look like Orlando yeah. Bloom. I don't look like him at all. Anyway, back on the boat, you know, he brings them to the uh, Interceptor. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, I think they just leave Johnny Depp behind. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Elizabeth gets on the boat. Not yeah. more pirates. <laughs> <laughs> and then Elizabeth is like, I'm a thief. I stole from you and I deserve to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. And uh, Will's like, this was my... The, the only thing my father ever gave me, and I hate you now. Did I remember that scene right? That's what he says, right? Yeah, Tony. <laughs> exactly, to a T. So later we get an awesome ship battle, and this battle is still awesome. They do show too that like Elizabeth's not an idiot. So yeah. like before, like before the ship was even like nearby for them to start shooting cannons and stuff like that. Whatever, she had that plan to like go towards the land. Yeah. To like try to lose them through like the shallows, I think it was. Yeah. What the plan was. But yeah, then, and they, they start the emptying out yeah. the boat, but the it's boat's way too fast and just like gains up a yeah, like, like, like minute. It was a good plan. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> yeah. But like they they look like real boats because I think they were real ships. Uh everything's in camera. Everything feels real. The explosions are awesome. I love that they ran out of cannonballs and they're like, just, just throw whatever. And like the guy gets a fork in the eye. We're seeing the movie. It's a wooden eye. It doesn't matter. Oh my um, God. But like watching this scene, I'm like, wow, I forgot how much I really like this. Cause then you get to like part three where they're just in a CGI whirlpool and you're like, this all looks like shit. I'm like that one scene in the first one looks so much better than, and I don't hate CGI. It's just like, man, like I really wish they could have just did what they did in the first movie with like a, a grander scale instead of just yeah. everything started to look like Apparently a cartoon. Apparently they wanted to sh uh, use the giant pool that they shot Titanic in, but it was being used at this time. I wonder what it's being used for. I forget. But I know that was a thing. Not U571. Because that was being used the same time as Gladiator was being shot. I remember that uh. behind the scenes. Yeah, I wonder what was being... Was I don't it, remember. I can look it up. Was but... it Ghost Ship? <laughs> yes, it was Ghost Ship. <laughs> like, sorry. Sorry, Disney. Ghost Ship is using this studio. It is a better movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look up like what what was using the Titanic. Thing. Yeah, I forget what it was. Also, I want to play Assassin's Creed Black Flag again now because I love like naval combat stuff. You should play Sea of Thieves with me since there's actually the pirate stuff. Nah, now. that won't look too cartoony. Uh, Whatever happened to Skull and Bones? Sea of Thieves ever took it? Yeah, but they were ready to like push that. It was supposed to come out like 2018. And it still hasn't come out. Yeah, because it sucks. How do you know it sucks? It didn't come out. See if these is better. <laughs> but I would have loved Assassin's Creed Black Flag without all the Assassin's Creed shit because I don't give a shit about Assassin's Creed. I, I just love the pirate stuff. I don't pirate, and it looks too cartoony. I don't like You're it. You're too cartoony. Um, You're wearing a drugs and it's all cartoony font. And My good friend Vito made the shirt. He stole from a religious comic. They were This religious comic was showing like punks who are bad and don't have Jesus in their heart. And the one guy's just wearing the shirt that says drugs. And the other one has an ape and it says my ancestor. So he Vito made two shirts. And I'm like, I gotta buy both of those. I didn't have any pirate theme shirts. This is the closest I got to a pirate theme shirt. I'm wearing a Disney Spirit jersey. Like <laughs> uh yeah, so the naval combat in this is awesome. I love oh, what do they call it? The two balls with the chain in them. Oh god. Um Again, it's been a while since I played Black Flag. I forget what they're called. <laughs> uh but I love that it's like because it's meant to like wrap around like the the mast. The mast and like rip it apart. While that's <laughs> happening, like uh, Will is like drowning, trying to find the last piece of gold. He's getting into a fight with a monkey. I like when Because Jack he was upstairs with Elizabeth and then she realized, oh crap, I don't have the necklace yeah. on. And then he went back down. I did love when uh, Jack like chases the monkey onto the boat and it gives him things like, thank you, Jack. He's like, you're welcome. He's like, oh no, we named the monkey Jack. <laughs> so when he said that, did you notice the monkey smiles? <laughs> that wasn't planned. The monkey just did it. Yeah. And then the interceptor blows up. And it's a real explosion. And it, again, it looks awesome. Like every, I love this goddamn scene. And none of the other sequels were able to like really capture it. I do like uh, Will threatens to kill himself if they don't let Elizabeth go. And they're like, who the hell are you? And he's like, I'm Bootstrap Bill's son. And they're like, oh shit, we need that guy. <laughs> and then they decide, because he does the whole thing. We're like, let her go. And he's like, yeah, we know that one. What else do you want? He's like, and free the crew. But he didn't specify where to let her go. So they <laughs> strand her and Jack on the same island. They stranded him on before. You think they pick a different island? I think it was just like on purpose, just to mess with him. Yeah. 
But I like that she's like, you were here for three days. He's like, you were here for weeks. What did you do to survive? And how did you get off? He's like, I was only here for three days. And she's like, what? Like, yeah, rum runners used to leave a cash here of rum. But uh, I don't think they're in business anymore because your fiance. (laughs) It's just like, all you did was get drunk for three days? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, Lying on a beach. Is that what he's like? Welcome to the Caribbean. <laughs> Welcome to the Caribbean, love. <laughs> and then they sing the theme song. Yo, yo, ho, yo, yo, ho, ho, I found this life for me. I love this song. But I love that it's a plan. She's just trying to get him really drunk. She's, yeah, she's not even drinking. She's having him get drunk. So she's pretty much just playing him the entire time. Just be yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. And of course, the next day, she's got a huge goddamn fire. And this leads to the famous. Why is the rum gone? Like, why, why is the rum gone? <laughs> That's all he's concerned about. And I love, she's like, this is a thousand fleet, feet high. The whole Royal Navy's looking for me. We'll get picked up. And he's like, no. And he sees them. He's like, oh, shit. It was, uh, I'll probably no living with yeah. them. <laughs> she tries to convince them to go after, like, Will and whatnot. And they're like, no. But then Jack's like, what if you got the Black Pearl? That'd be pretty awesome, right? He's like, that would be awesome. I mean, and then also Elizabeth was like, I will marry you if you do this. <laughs> what a liar. Just a younger woman manipulating an older man Tony. for her own personal gain, much like Amber Heard. That's right. I flip flopped again. I'm back oh. on justice for Johnny. <laughs> will learns about his dad, how he was not involved with the mutiny. He was against it. Uh, and I like the whole thing where they, like they strapped him up and threw him to the bottom of the ocean. And then like afterwards they realize they need his blood. They're like, oh, we fucked up. So here's up. the thing. Yeah. He wouldn't die from that because he's cursed. Yes. He's at the bottom of the ocean. Why didn't they just go get him? Because he went to Davy Jones's locker. Also, do they remember where he is? You know how deep the bottom of the ocean is? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, but like he, <laughs> I remember a lot of people were like, oh crap. Like if the Davy Jones thing didn't happen, like if Davy Jones didn't offer him the contract yeah. to be on the Dutchman and everything. Technically, Will releasing that curse killed his father. <laughs> so yeah, you never really think yeah. about that. You never think about that, yeah. do you? You're like, ah, that would happen. What? Yeah. He? He's just like, I hope someone saves me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm human again. <laughs> but I guess that's how they retcon it. Like maybe they did go back, but they couldn't find him because Davy Jones recruited yeah. them. So Jack continues to play both sides against each other, and I think his plan is like, I'm gonna flush out the pirates on their boats. You bring the Dauntless and blow them away. But Norrington doesn't listen. He's just there with his little boats. And he's like, I'm not going to do what Jack says. And then, In hindsight, smart. Yes. Not because of Jack was lying or anything, but like what happens. Yes. Uh, but also he goes in there. He stops them from killing Will. And I thought they're like, how did you get on the island again? <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, hey, don't lift the curse yet. You're going to need it. To fight the British. So he's just playing them against each other. But I like how he thinks they're going to go on their boats and get blown up. Oh, not even that. The whole conversation where uh, he just said to uh, Norrington, like, oh, yeah, you can have the Black Pearl. Now it turns into, oh, Barbosa, you can have the Dauntless as your <laughs> yeah. ship. I get the Black Pearl and you become Commodore. <laughs> <laughs> like, you get a big hat. <laughs> but I love he's like, you don't want us to kill the boy. He's like, oh, by all means, kill the boy. Just not yet. <laughs> And I love the whole, like, I promise everyone. So we're all men of our word, except for Elizabeth, who is, in fact, a woman. <laughs> uh, but I love he's like, all right, boys, take a walk. He's like, wait, you're not taking the little boats? Because <laughs> they're just going under the water. And this scene is so goddamn cool. It really is. Where the pirates are just, like, skeletons walking on the ocean floor. Then they go under the boat. Turn. And even, like, their, like, hair is, like, floating all about how they're yeah. actually supposed to be and everything. Because I want to know, how do they do that? Uh, digitally. Out yeah? of the hair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they like they do it with like Aquaman now too. They just digitally. I think they like wrap their hair and they add the hair digitally mm-hmm. afterwards to make it all wavy. I just remember that entire time I'm watching that scene. I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. It is so <laughs> cool. It is. Like, it goes on for like a while, and I like the reveal when they come up from under the boat and they're yeah. all like skeletons. And I like that they put the two wacky guys in dresses. And I like like this is just like when the Trojans were in the horse. Well, they were in a horse. We're we're in dresses. <laughs> and then we get an awesome zombie pirate fight. And it's awesome. I also liked uh, when they were out in the boat and what the reveal was. Yeah. Like, because obviously they were supposed to be distracting so the pirates can go up and, you know, murk them, which they were. A murk them? Yes. What are you, um, what are you a gangster? Like, yeah. are you a g- <laughs> But uh, again, in hindsight, Norrington going where he was, mm. they wouldn't be paying attention. They'd be looking at the cave, not thinking that they're going to come up behind because yeah. how would they? Yeah. 
So, um, but the whole thing uh, with the two quirky pirates, mm-hmm. that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, he's, the one says to the other, like, oh, yeah, you look nice, though. And he's like, <laughs> he took us, like, a couple, and he's like, yeah. And then he's like, wait. <laughs> and I like that uh, Elizabeth escapes, much to her father's chagrin. Yep. Oh, and I love how he has a whole fight with, like, a hand. <laughs> so good. But it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, she escapes to the Black Pearl, where Kano is. Uh, and I like that she just beats up the monkey. And then Kano and the other guy, I'm just calling him Kano. Kano and the other guy go up and they knock him over with like, a, so when they break into like little pieces of bones, are they able to reassemble themselves? Like, I don't know. It's a little confusing, isn't it? I would assume yes. Because some of them get like blown up. I'm yeah. like, how do they piece themselves back together? Maybe I not. Know. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but I like she knocks them off. She frees the crew and then like none of them want to go save Jack. They're like, no. Nah, yeah, we pi- got the ship. We're oh, good. they're like pirate code. And they're like, those more like guidelines. <laughs> and then it's just her going back. And there's a lot of wacky hijinks in these fights. Again, great use of the scenery, great use of everything. Every character gets a little bit of a moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, we have the fight with the hand. We have the two wacky guys doing shit. And I love when they are fighting around all the gold. Elizabeth shows up, does her corset line. But I like that her and Will like trap the, the three pirates together and then put the bomb in them and then yeah, throw them the, out of the moonlight so the they can't... The one that they put the bomb in, he's the one from the very beginning that Will thought he killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, no fair. And then they blow up. Uh, but yes, um, Jack stole a gold coin and then he's fighting Barbosa, uh, and it turns out he he's cursed, but he's automatically a skeleton guy. So I always just took it as like, yeah, they turn into that like automatically, but they like start to lose their feeling of um, like mm. taste and touch and everything as they spend the cursed gold. Because when you stabbed Barbosa, well, Jack stabbed Barbosa, he was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. They did it to Jack. Jack actually was like, oh shit, ow. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's what I But think. also, I mean, it's a Disney movie. Look at it's Here's what I think. I think it was intended like, yes, this is what they look like 10 years after decaying. But then they wanted the twist and they're like, oh shit. We need to visually show that he's cursed. He can't just look like himself. And they're like, we'll also make him a zombie just so the audience gets it. That's I mean, what they could I have think. always like not made him as decayed. Yeah, yeah. I mean it looks cool. This whole this whole sequence is great. When they're fighting, going in and out of the moonlight, mm-hmm. turning into zombies and stuff. I love that part. She's like, what side's Jack's Because it wasn't on? even like them walking up things and turning no, into... No, they're like, like jumping, they're jumping and up, spinning. Yeah. And they're not like wearing motion capture suits. So they had to like map those digital movements. It was insane. Uh, but yeah, I love the whole like um, he shoots Barbosa And he's like, oh, you wasted your shot. But he doesn't realize the curse was lifted. Well, it wasn't lifted yet. He was just like, he didn't waste yeah. it. And then he drops the thing. And then Barbosa Wait, was like, shit. Then why, didn't, why didn't Jack die? Because he was stabbed a bunch of times. Plot. Maybe because the bullet hole was still in Probably, him. Probably, yeah. because it literally just happened. So Yeah, yeah. But that's all sad. He's like, I feel cold. <laughs> he just dies. And he drops his apple. The, my man yeah. just wanted an apple. <laughs> and then I love the, the two wacky pirates. So like, parlay? Like, finally, like the rule of threes. Oh, and I also loved earlier when they hit, kidnapped a bunch of them. They're like, if I hear any of you say parlay, I will shoot you. <laughs> Uh, and how do they repay Captain Jack Sparrow for all his noble deeds? They hang him. <laughs> they send him back to get hung. And then fucking Will shows I like up. that he was wearing like a crown too. Like he, oh, comes yeah. up, he comes up after the friggin' fight and then he's like talking to, uh, what was it, I think Will? Yeah. Or was it both of them? It was both of them. Because I remember Will and Elizabeth had their little thing. and Oh, and Will he's was like, that like, was the moment. Yeah. You missed it. Well, and it, it, even he was like, though, like, oh, wait, I guess we should get you back to your, like, fiance or whatever it was. And I'm just like, why would you say that? <laughs> yeah, stupid. Uh, but yeah, they, they go to hang him. And then Will shows up with a big fa- f- fancy hat, which they comment on. Feather. <laughs> but I love he's like, Elizabeth, I should have told you I'm in love with you. And it's like, that's a weird time to bring that up. Uh, but no, he's there to save Jack. And the parrot's there. I like the parrot's there to show him that his crew is nearby. Uh, and again, another fun thing where he throws the sword so he can like balance. Yeah, because oh, the executioner dude pulls yeah. the lever and he just falls on top of it. Yeah, and I love Jack uh, he's saying bye to everyone. He's just like, oh, Elizabeth would have never worked. <laughs> he looks at Will and he goes, nice hat. Uh, did you also uh, listen to the um, things being read off that Jack has done? <laughs> pretending to be a clergyman. He's, He's like, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, really but I love, good. 
I love he tries to do his catchphrase again, and this is the day you all move, and he just like falls over like an asshole. But he's picked up by his crew on the Black Pearl, uh, and they sail off, and he sings his uh, little song, and Elizabeth's in love with Will, and it's a happy ending. Said, Bring me that horizon, which also was improvised. Yes. It's a lot of Everyone gets a happy ending. Except for Norrington. Yeah, well, he's going to go on a fun chase. Which ends up not being fun. Yeah, yeah so no, he ends up just bad and like it's. What did he do? He chased him through a hurricane, just lost his entire crew. <laughs> but anyway, uh, fun movie, good action adventure, fun for the family. Uh, yeah, the post credit sequence where the monkey mm-hmm. goes to get the gold and becomes a zombie monkey again. I thought that was funny. I don't know. I assume the Black Pearl went back there to get all the non cursed gold, and they were like, "Yeah, we'll take the monkey. Why not?" <laughs> I would assume that's what I assume happens. Uh, but yeah, really, really fun film. Still holds up now. It's not boring at all. I, l- I love this movie. I really love this movie. And uh, they probably shouldn't have done sequels, but they did. I I, I get it. No, I get it too. But there was also, no way they couldn't do sequels yeah. after how big it was. Especially since they did uh, three movies and this was the only successful yeah. ride-based movie. <laughs> did you know that like... They wanted to like fire Johnny Depp at one point in the beginning, like really? during this, whatever, because they didn't know, like a lot of like the higher ups didn't know what he was trying to do with the character with being so weird. Also, <laughs> speaking of him being weird, did you notice that little scab that he had here? Did you notice you're not anywhere near your microphone right now? There you go. Did you notice? Uh, yeah, I saw the scab. Yeah. Yeah, but did you notice that it progressively got bigger and bigger and bigger? No, why? Him and the uh, makeup team just want like a gag <laughs> to have it. Just, if you pay attention, you literally see it's like, <laughs> like kind of like teeny tiny, and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, like later on, he decided to make it like a, an actual like thing where it's gonna stay big, and mm. it's because he wanted Jack to have syphilis or something. I don't know. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, really good time. Very fond memories of it. Uh. And yeah, just a good, like, I'm not a big Disney guy, but this is like one of the Disney movies I can enjoy that's not tied to like a pre-existing property. I'm gonna wear some ears. You won't get yelled at for these. No. <laughs> M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Oh, we just got copyright claim for that. Probably. <laughs> Disney's like shit. <laughs> but yes, enjoy Pirates of the Caribbean. Thank you for joining me and. Just talking about Disney shit. Uh, Thanks for having me, Tony. I love to talk about Disney shit. <laughs> Joanna, where else could people hear us talk about shit? Oh, you mean shit shit? So yeah. it's uh, Castzilla. <laughs> Castzilla versus the Pod Monster, our Godzilla themed podcast. Uh, and you can also call us at our voicemail line. Uh, you can either leave a voicemail for Castzilla or this show. Uh, and the podcast version, if you're listening to the podcast version, you're about to hear the voicemail segment. Yep. Uh, and if you're a Patreon, you get the video segment, just the podcast. Uh, but yeah, the free version is exclusive to the podcast version. So listen to the voicemails. You just did your first voicemail segment and it was something. How, how do you feel about our fans? How you get to hear the voices that watch us? Guys, some more weird shit. Cause it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes.